Making a Left 4 Dead 2 map in 10 minutes is actually very easy. There is two types of maps you can make. Campaign or Survival. But how do we choose one? Well, Survival maps are a lot smaller than Campaign ones. So you only focus on one section of the map. What I'm gonna do is... Survival. Okay. Also, I just want to start making maps. Step 1. To get started, in your Steam library, type in Left 4 Dead and install Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools. After it's done, go to Google and type in Hammer++. Next step is completely optional by the way, but I recommend doing it. Go to Downloads and download the Left 4 Dead 2 version. Next, go to Left 4 Dead 2 files and drag the BIM folder to Left 4 Dead. And now you have Hammer++. It's all better than the normal Hammer, trust me. Step 2. Open up Hammer++ that you just installed. It might feel a little complicated, but don't worry. Place something, all you basically have to do is drag on the, uh, yeah, one of the four screens. Each one represents a different axis. You know what that means. On the right you have a texture browser, on the left you have tools. Upper bar doesn't matter. Anyways, let's get to mapping. But I need a map idea, so I asked someone. It's actually very easy, but I'm not gonna do the outside because I won't have time. Anyways. Let's get to mapping. Obviously, I have some experience in mapping. I've made like... Um... Six maps? Maybe? And a lot of unreleased ones for practice. One of the issues I have when making the maps are proportions. So the dev textures are actually really useful for me. You can see for the roof I'm using the splice tool, or whatever it's called, I forgot. It, it has a lot of use cases, and of course, as you can see here, the use case for now is the roof. I haven't actually watched the movie. In my mind, I'm using a reference from No More Room in Hell. There is a map based off the same house. That's what the room layout is inspired from. I didn't place windows around the building still, but you know, doesn't matter. 10 minutes. I'm also using the carve tool to make windows and doors. It makes it a lot faster to create this. Here I kinda forgot where the stairs tool was for Hammer++. So after wasting some time I just did the classic method. But you know, only a bad teacher Blames it on the tools, I guess. Or a mechanic? Ah. The result is kinda similar, I guess. But now we have to texture it. That's why I made myself a rule to not texture anything during those 10 minutes. So I could only focus on the layout and props. But you've probably noticed I haven't placed any props. I'm smart.
step 3. Now we have to actually make the map playable. So, let's use the entity tool and place player spawns first. Next up we have to add the radio so we can start the map. And some weapons with it. Make a block around it using the invisible texture. Click Ctrl T and make a funk underscore button. Add the director to the map using the entity tool again and name it director. Then in the button and outputs add on use director start panic event. That's how our survival map starts. I also named our button something and on use I deleted it. Then, let's play the map. And after it loads... Oh, we forgot a few things. We have to add light underscore directional or environment. Next, place some light entities around the map so we can see at dark. Also, let's change that grass texture because I used the wrong one. And now when we boot up the map, everything works fine. Except the bots don't work. Well, it's an easy fix actually. Let's open up the in-game console and type in nav underscore edit and set it to 1. You can see now there is a tiny thing following our crosshair. Open up the console again and type in nav underscore mark underscore walkable. And now a triangle appears where we placed it. This is for every surface that's supposed to be walkable on. When done, in console, type in nav underscore generate. And after a while, depending on how big your map is, your bots can now walk, but that's not it. As you can see, when I walk into the house, the bots don't actually jump into the house. It's because the nav between the door and the ground isn't connected. Look at the nav on the door and type in nav add to selected set. Do this again for the surface you wanna connect it to. And then type in nav underscore connect. Now the bots can walk into the house. Let's also do this for the windows and the roofs. That's not all. Let's add some attributes to the nav mesh. First off, I'll select the entire house. I have the command for selecting nav binder. You should do too if you're gonna make maps. After selecting everything, type in mark space no maps. And now no zombies will spawn in the house. Next, do nav select radius and a big number, just to select every nav mesh piece. Mark it as finale and battlefield. This is required for survival maps. Now, our map is known. Of course it's kinda bad and broken, but it still works. I recommend if you wanna get into mapping, follow QDudes tutorials. We're seeing them on screen right now. Anyways. Subscribe. What an ass clown.